For most households, the talk is that often awkward conversation parents have when explaining to their children about the birds and the bees. But in black families, it's far more serious. It's about getting home safely. We're talking life and death. What do you see when you look at your son? Oh, man, a ball of energy. A ball of energy? Uh, very intelligent, a light in a dark room, loves football. Uh, loves basketball, loves soccer, and loves tennis. Yes, and just an amazing personality. they won't come home. The fear is that they will, they're going to get that call. The fear is that their child is going to be another hashtag. I do not want him to grow up with anger in his heart, to hate uh, and disrespect authority when it comes to uh, police uh, or anyone for that matter. Speak to Lance, if this were Lance in the camera, and you were having the talk with him, what would you say to Lance? this conversation with my son. I shouldn't have to tell my son that there are going to be white people that don't like you, not because of your talent or not because of you. They're not going to like you because of your skin. I shouldn't have to have that conversation with my son. My son should be able to live a free and happy life as a child. My son has a heart full of love, and I feel like having that conversation with him will put hate into his heart with people, and I don't want that for him. I don't. I shouldn't have to have this, you know, deep conversation, but it's a must. Moving out back, down by the river. It's frustrating that nobody understands but us. There is a song down by the river. A conversation no parent should feel it necessary to have, but unfortunately, it's an indication of where we are in America today. So where do we go from here? What role can all of us play? It begins with a candid conversation. 